Hopefully YouTube notifications work. Yeah, I hate when YouTube notifications don't work. It's like at least half of the streams, the notifications don't go out and there's like five people watching. Google hates me. So today we have an A1278 that does not turn on. One second here, let me check. See if it's actually. Yeah, so the 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 YouTube live dashboard doesn't show me chat, but the video does. So I'll leave it on the video. It's like delayed by like three minutes on, on the other one, so. So this is an A1278 that with the customer complaint that it does not turn on. We're going to go ahead and plug in our MagSafe. And we have it hooked up to the DC power supply right here. Um, let me open the lid. Plug it in. And we're pulling about tenth of an amp. If we unplug the battery, it's pulling nothing. Um, no power, but if I hit the power button, the amp draw spikes a little bit. So it's it, it jumps up. So what I think is happening is we have an issue around our SMC or SMC reset area. So we're going to have a look under the microscope. Um, thinking about this business, but I'm 56 years old. Should I? Yeah, absolutely. Jump into this. So the first second I put under the microscope, I see junk around this capacitor. It just looks, this is, looks like it's been liquid damaged. Um, and another thing is right here. That what this looks like is it was liquid damage and ultrasonically cleaned. We have some for our CPU V core circuit. That doesn't look too bad. Hopefully this chip is okay. It didn't kill our um, CPU. A little bit of corrosion for a P bus sensor. Nothing critical. Here's our SMC reset IC. Obviously the SMC. Um, let's give it a look over because you never know. Here's our ISL. Everything else looks good except near the bottom edge. Now, the behavior that I've seen um with the uh one second hi how can i help you no worries yes it should be um we replaced your trackpad and trackpad cable um i also ran apple service diagnostic it passes all the trackpad tests if it starts acting up or scrolling on pages, uh, bring it back. I really don't think it would. The only other thing that's going to cause that is the controller on the board. But the thing is that really doesn't die unless you spill something on it or something like that. And I'm pretty confident it was just the trackpad. No, I'm, I'm here tomorrow and Sunday most likely. Tomorrow at 12. Sounds good. For the, the MacBook, one, uh, 130. No problem. Thank you. Bye. Sonia's here. Wow, 20 watching already. All right, so where was I before I got a call? So let's measure a few things. So let's plug in our charger again. I unplugged the trackpad just in case that's screwing with things. I don't think it is, um, but let's see. So we're going to plug it in. No change. Let's measure what PP bus is. So PP bus is 12 point. 
PP bus is all over the place. So PP bus is jumping from 10 volts to 12.12 .12 to 10 to 12.58. It's just all over the place. Now, I bet if we were to, to measure right here on So the whole board is power cycling. Now, the the ISL controls output on the whole system. So if there's an issue, if there's a short downstream and it's trying to power a rail that is shorted, it's the voltage is going to drop. So the most common thing on these A1278 boards is um, a shorted audio cap. So I'm going to check PP uh, 3V3S, uh, I mean PP5VS3, and is there a short? Doesn't look like it. But let's inspect this area. So most commonly, so if you get an A1278, no power, random. Um, audio is so much better, excellent. Um, yeah, Lewis team viewered into my computer and changed some audio settings. This is the same mic, so. So we're good here. The fact that we're power cycling Not shorted here. All right, I'm gonna pull the board. So I'm gonna pull the board out of the enclosure because I can't really go much further with the board out of the enclosure. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the board out real quick. Is the video, to the people in chat, is the video distorted at all? Because I was doing a pre-recorded um, and I'm gonna have a really interesting video up tomorrow morning too. Um, but when I played it back, it was all distorted, but the, it wasn't the video itself. It was just the computer that was screwing up playing the video because it's a piece of junk. Um, so let me know if the video is distorted. I don't think it will be, but let me know if it is. So the fact that the the board is power cycling like that is going to mean two things to me. There's either going to be a blown current sensing resistor near around the ISL, or there is a short somewhere. So if there's a short somewhere, the ISL is going to try. It's going to fluctuate like that. But it almost sounds like current sensing to me, so we're going to check all that once it's out of the enclosure, because if I have to replace the ISL, if there was a, if the, the cap for... Um, 5VS3 was shorted, I would just knock that off and put a new one on. I wouldn't have to ultrasonic it, but anytime I change like the ISL or something and I put flux on the board, I like to clean it because I'm not like some companies that never clean their flux. I've learned my lesson on that. So I would do no backlight and this was before I had an ultrasonic cleaner when I was starting. So yeah, you know, flux, it'll help, you know, it's a, it's a coating. It'll protect it from liquid in the future. That was a dumb idea because what happened was the flux eventually corroded. And this is a no clean flux too. That's what Amtech is, no clean, no clean flux. It can still corrode. It's especially on a chip that is outputting 20 to 50 volts, it's still gonna corrode. It's gonna take a long time, but it's still gonna corrode. Okay, here's our board. This is an A1278. Hello, I just subbed to your channel. Thank you, I appreciate it. So let's just give the board a full overview without doing anything else. So here's our clock circuit. This looks fine. Uh, everything else seems fine. I don't see any liquid. Hmm, someone was there. Do you always ultrasonic um, when repairing your board using flux? Usually. If it's like one little capacitor, no. Okay, here we go. We have a corroded, little bit of corrosion right here. See that little green spot? Little green spot near the SMC. So that's a, a hint. 
but let's continue on. Here's more liquid damage, here's liquid damage, right there. But none of this is too important. The only thing that is kind of important is that it's by the SMC. Um, I have an HP laptop which works normally apart from the fact that it doesn't charge the battery and plugged in. I may have messed up something when I open it to replace the hard drive. Um, if it doesn't, so just, when you say it doesn't charge the battery, if you unplug the battery, will it run off the charger? If so, your charger is fine. So let's check our current sensing. Visibly, they look okay. But let's physically check them. So, ohms mode. And right here, what do we get? 5, 3.5 ohms. And I see our issue right now. We get 20 ohms. So the current sensing resistor is in spec. But if you look right here, what do you see? Check that out. So if someone is just looking and they measure that, they think, well, that's fine. But look at this connection right here. Look at this probe point. Look at the corrosion right here. See that? I don't know if that's connected or not. But there was corrosion right here, and that's what's significant. There's a, so see this pin right here? See how it's kind of black and no good? Better ISL is dead. Um, or we have a broken trace, but the trace looks okay to me. Let's continue on. So I'm going to check a few rails for power cycling. Um, and I have to move quickly because I have to leave at 3.45. I have to be. So PP5VS5 is going to show up over here. Need to get my OBS set up better. But PP5VS5 is going to be right over here. And that is fluctuating between 3 and 4 volts. It's just all over the place. But if its supply voltage is going down from the ISL, which is also fluctuating, that would be normal behavior. So we have some corroded caps right here. Those both have to go. Otherwise, it looks OK. The FETs look OK. OK, I'm going to go ahead and change the ISL now. Because I'm com I'm pretty confident that that's the issue because that does regulate the supply voltage for 5VS5. 5VS5 runs off PP bus, and this is the chip that regulates PP bus. Let's kick on our hot air, our iron, our fume extractor, Put some flux down. Will you tell us the name of the company that has been in business for 18 years and you fix the board? Not publicly. Caroline says MacBook. MacBook indeed. Haven't been here in a while. When did you get the new office? Um, Around August. So yeah, around August like 15th or so. Take out the RAM so I don't screw up the RAM socket. Coachella weekend going on, just drop someone off from LAX. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's a madhouse. I'll never go to one of those events. It seems just so silly, honestly. But maybe I could encourage um, people to bring their MacBooks while they drink stuff and get drunk. Quick question. Does it matter for MacBook? It's 14 to 20 volts because different MacBook. Okay, so yes. The working voltage, so the absolute minimum that the system needs to, 
turn on is 14 volts and the maximum before you start killing stuff is 20 volts now the way the isl works it's going to take the charger voltage and switch that to 12 or 8 volts depending on the machine the isl has to work a lot harder if you're giving it 14 volts that's to work harder to switch 14 volts to 12 volts as it would from 16 volts to 12 volts at least that's what i believe because the most failures i see randomly of isls are people using knockoff chargers that only output 14 volts so i'm pretty sure it creates more stress on the isl to use a lower voltage so the sweet spot what i find is around 16.5 to 18.5 um and not under or over that what does tcrs stand for i have no idea I probably came up with that late at night, one night when I was tired, and just randomly made something up. Did Lewis Auto Gear arrive yet? No, it's only been like 14 hours. Yeah, I'm going to have an interesting video going up tomorrow morning. Um, it's about Apple. It's a, it's a customer experience at Apple. And it should should be pretty decent. The, I kinda, the audio is a little bit screwed up, so people are probably going to complain. Basically, my audio is loud and his was quiet, but, you know. It is what it is. You could still hear it. I won't spoil it, even though I want to talk about it, but yeah. It was probably a fairly bad experience. Uh, 3.20, I'm running short on time, so I need to hurry up and stop. So a a MacBook won't send errors complaints if I output a different voltage. Um, it will. It it absolutely will in ASD if you run the test. If the voltage is above 18.5 or 60 above 16.5 or 18.5 depending on the machine, it will pull a DC in voltage sensor above high threshold. But usability wise, it'll be fine. You have an iron, you have a soldering iron, but not a multimeter. I have a multimeter. Look. My multimeter's right here, and my oscilloscope is right here. Soldering iron, quick, power supply. I have everything here. Um, What do I need? I need a new chip. Let me grab a new ISL. It's an ISL 6259. I've been meaning to buy ISL nine two five uh, ISL nine five two zeros because the pinout is exactly the same on those chips. It has the same number of pins. It's the same package size, and that's what I always kind of wonder: is is Apple just rebranding that chip as six two five nine? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy some a reel of those, put them on a board, and um, then test it. It'll be one of my boards, not a customer's, because I'm gonna don't want to know if it's gonna blow up the MOSFETs or something but it should be interesting I've been saying that for months where do you get my donor boards from China I was afraid of accidentally killing the laptop, thinking the power adapter. Um, it does, but the, the data connection is 3 volts, and it's a separate line from the 20 volt line. You should be okay.
For all I know, it'll be happy at 20 for forever. I plan to replace the stepper driver, saw it under my 3D printer mainboard, and wonder what I shouldn't do shouldn't do when trying to solder the QFN onto it. Can I press it down? To, yeah, just like I did right now. Just push it down. Oh, 57 watching. I think that's the most I've ever had. The most I've ever had was like 30. Oh, that's pretty good. I hope to grow this channel. I hope to grow this channel a lot more than it is now. So we'll see. I was actually expecting a lot less of a positive exp um, a positive response than what I did get from the community. But I'm glad. Are you going to set up Super Chat? I can't yet. It, I need 4,000 watch hours and I have 3,040 something. Too bad you have to... I know, I'll be back, trust me. I have a pile of stuff to fix. And what do you know? What's this? Fan spin. So check this out. Fan spin fixed. Now, this isn't fixed yet. I'm not done with this. So these caps have to be replaced I'm not gonna leave those on this looks like it needs a little bit of rework um, those two gotta go anything like these traces have to be touched up a little bit anything that's corroded has to be replaced on this board at least that's what I do it a lot of places a lot of shops they're done when they see this but I'm not like that I care that what I'm giving you back actually works into the future I you know I like to put effort into making sure that when I give you back something has been repaired you know, fully and not left on. So this is going to go into queue for that, and I'm going to move on to the next one. Um, wow, 70 watching. That's pretty incredible. So this one, I'm going to update the ticket real quick. Put this, find a place to put this for the meantime. And I will get to that tonight because I'm probably not going to go home tonight with the amount of work I have right now. Faye is here. Rick Tech is here. Finelli is here. A lot of people are here. So, we have another one. Another A1278. I like A1278s. Um... Put your PayPal to receive donations in the description. That's an idea. Okay, I'm going to update the ticket real quick. Remove that so you don't see anything. Not that it matters, but... Start swearing a lot. No, I'm not going to do that. Unless it's required. How many employees do you have? I have zero employees. I need to find employees. So which ticket was that? I forgot. That one. Uh, email diagnostics. Uh, PP. PP bus. Cycling. Corrosion near ISL. Okay, next one. Yeah, commuting, um, commuting to England to here, that would be quite a trip. 
So let's see what this one does. So the battery is unplugged and the battery indicator is unplugged and they sent this with no bottom cover, which is always fun. So we're going to plug this in. Let's see what this does. We get a green light, but nothing. Yeah, clearly if you live in England, you're really going to love coming to Palmdale. I'm sure you will. And we get 12.26 volts, which means our SMC is not running, which is my favorite repair. Okay. T6, we need... Hmm. We need another screw holder. So this one goes with this machine. And slot one is open. Poor SMC. Poor SMC. Hopefully I don't have to reball an SMC because I have to leave in 15 minutes. So if it is the SMC, I'm probably not going to be able to do it right now. I have to do it later. But when I come back, I'll stream. Having too much work is better. Um, did you get the email? Um, I'll check. Uh, my email has been really busy. But I'll check it right now. How much? Yes, I agree with you. Having too much work is better than not enough. It's been pretty consistent here lately. And I'm really thankful for that. Even though some people get a little upset, um, you know, some stuff, yeah, some stuff I spend time to figure out. Some stuff is hard stuff and the customer doesn't want to pay for a new board and then they get mad when I have it for over two weeks. It's like, you know, I'm taking 10 hours out of my time at least to try and fix your board and you're getting upset. I can't, can't deal with that. From now on as if someone starts getting upset with that, you know, Certain customers want stuff fast, and I understand that. And if it's not, with some customers, if it's not something simple, I'll just send it back. Some people legitimately appreciate stuff, me working on stuff, even if it takes sometimes, you know, a long time to figure out. Because that's sometimes what I do is that I, I go down the rabbit hole and stuff. That's not really a good idea, but I do it. When are you going to start making fun of Paul Daniel Software? I make fun of Paul Daniel Software all the time. Did you play sports in high school? No. I did online school f through high school and didn't even finish. One more screw. Um, my email is about getting a connector, A1708, I need J1800. Um, your best bet is going to be from a donor board. I don't know of any place that sells those. And if it's a, if it's a trackpad connector on my board, it's probably stolen. Um, so what I would do is rework the connector if you can. Um, Rework the connector if you can, touch up the pins, and go from there. A lot of times those pins are fixable. Let's see, my son's power supply went popped the other day. Now the main board has no onboard or out, even on the graphics card. Would the board protect itself? Um, no. So, if your power supply died, if I'm assuming, assuming it's a desktop. If your power supply died, it could have sent a spike through the graphics card power. So what I would do is try a new motherboard and a new power supply and go from there. But it may, it may very well have a dead GPU.
dust. This looks like a cat died in, 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 in the computer. It's filled with dust and hair. But let's go over this one. So this is the same thing. This is an A1278 that does not turn on. With 12 point with 12.56 volts on PP bus G3 hot. So our SMC area does not look terrible. Will the SMC have balls? Yeah, so anyway, those are good rolls. Those did you buy your setup from Lewis? Like the no, I bought my microscope from Amscope. I bought my quick from I think go to PAC, and this was before ev anybody even had quicks. It was back when it was like 230 bucks. Okay, so the first thing we need to check is SMC Reset L. This is going to be an 820-2936, old dinosaur, 2011. Soon to be obsolete piece of junk. What am I saying? Soon to be. It uses a dual core Sandy Bridge CPU. So we're going to open the board view for that. Uh, 2936 where is it 2936 board view and we're gonna look for SMC reset L which is going to show up on pin 5 of u5010 we're gonna measure pin 5 of u5010 and see what we get But the fan is spinning. Taking this out of the board solved the issue. It, it, it fixed itself. And everything important was unplugged. What? So yeah, this fixed itself. So, let, let's put it back in the enclosure, let's plug in everything individually, and let's see um, if, it, if it does anything different. So, maybe there's an issue in the enclosure, maybe the keyboard is bad, holding it in a reset state, something like that, or there's corrosion under something, or there's a broken trace or a broken solder joint. And me moving the board, pulling it out of the enclosure, made it make contact again. So, don't you have to go? I have to go at 3:45. I meaning I have to be rolling at 3:45 because I have to go 30 minutes away to get to a place as they're closing to pick up a desktop to fix. For a business, an office. I don't know why I get myself into doing these kind of things. The good stuff about IT on-site work is you can make pretty good money doing it. I made a thousand dollars fixing a Pentium 4 Dell um, a few few months back. So I had a Pentium 4 Dell that they wanted fixed. 81 watching, nice. But let's plug it in. Now we get no green light. Now we get green light, no fan spin. Let's unplug the keyboard. Bad keyboard. So this needs um, this new keyboard and uh, that's it. So 
With that being said, I'm going to cut it off here because I have to go. Um, I probably will be back later. I have a pile of other ones to get through. Um, some are probably going to be fixable, some are not. I don't know if I'll stream tonight or tomorrow. Depending on how I feel, part of me kind of wants to go home at a decent hour. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's about it for right now. And um, I'll see you guys later. And thank you for watching. I'm glad everybody subscribed. And I uh, hope to put out good content and uh, grow this channel, you know, fairly large if I can. So thank you for watching.